Hello everybody and welcome back to the uh, Mega Modded Gungeon series. We're jumping in again. I'm just going to play as Paradox this time around and start with a few extra bits as well because I'm a cheaty, cheaty, cheaterman. That was kind of strange. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, and we're just going to have a fun old run. The Pig Whistle, I can't remember what the Pig Whistle does. I can't remember, if, is, it a, is it an active or a gun? I think it's a gun, right? Um. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. Where the hell's my pig whistle <laughs> Just yeeted it through the wall. It wasn't active. Oh, I also got the Mozambique. Awesome. I've been waiting to get the Mozambique for ages. Um, also, I didn't start with a passive, apparently. Um, let's have a look. On Caliber's Blessing, they, this, the hand grenade, that with thou'st must blowest thine enemies in... <laughs> what the fuck? Deals massive damage to jammed enemies. Okay. If we start with the passive also, happy to start with the Mozambique because apparently it has a lot of synergies. And I'm happy to try and find a few of those. Because it's one of those low tier guns that's kind of a synergy magnet. And yeah, I'd be happy to see a few of those along the way here. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, did I start with a passive? Because normally you get a passive as Paradox and I feel like I maybe didn't. <laughs> I find it so funny that that pig whistle is just like... <gasps> also, one minute. Um... I did, okay. Amber dice. Chance for enemy projectiles to be friendly instead. So, I really want to start with this stuff, but my Roboros level is still zero, and I don't get why. One second, one second. Okay, we're going to leave it like this for now and just play the run, but I've asked the developer. Oh, they're applying now. Okay. Bunny, let me know. One second. His reply was, oh, whack, which makes me think that it's currently broken. So that's fine. <laughs> um, do you know what? Massive damage to jammed enemies. Let's just do this. Actually, hmm. Let's, let's complete the floor first and then turn that up so that if we find any cursed things on the floor, we can still take them. Because it sets your curse to nine. It doesn't add nine. But yeah, most of them be pretty, pretty damn good as a, as a solid early game room clearer. I like it. What's this thing like against regular enemies? Oh, the sound effects. So beautiful. So beautiful. But yeah, it's like really it's like a really accurate sort of pistol shotgun. It's pretty nice. It kind of it's very reminiscent of one of my favorite weapons in the vanilla game, which is the um the big iron. I like that a lot. We get whatever this thing is. Oh, this is something that we um This is something that we just unlocked, the arm warmer. Um, a large amalgamation of living flesh, amalgam of living flesh, it seems to replicate very, very quickly. Fires a burst of sticky projectiles that stick to enemies and deal radial damage to anything near it. Okay, give it a go. We just unlocked this. Pretty cool. Gotta say I'm a fan. Okay, so it's like a delayed explosion. We also have bounce, which is kind of nice. Like little pustules that you can stick to enemies. You can do a bit of AoE. So probably better to use in rooms with weaker enemies that are in a higher quantity. We get ourselves a shrine here, which is... This shrine. This is new. Take its life for your own. Put your future life at risk. The damned shrine sits puls um, pulsating, pulsating? Pulsating with life. Do you take its life for your benefit at the risk of your future one? Yes, I do. Heart was taken. No idea. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. That is scary. That's actually a, a mod that I just recently installed, so cool to, to come across that already. Oh god. Um. Okay, enemies are like burning up into a crisp. That is a very strange looking visual effect. But it's cool though. But does that happen when enemies die? It does. And it sets other enemies on fire. Okay, I get it. 
I get the premise. A lot of explosions going on. Yeah, it's like weirdly low res. <laughs> Strange. Okay. Heart there for rather nice Mendy and Wendy over here. Like to see it. We got Key Man over here. Oh, he's not a key actually. Uh, the D6 would be nice. Honestly, all of these would be nice, but they're all very unreasonable for us to grab. Um. If I'd have maybe grabbed the curse early, it would have been more plausible, but I didn't. So there. Right, just keep going. Probably just going to buy the keys and open the good chests that we've got available to us at this moment in time. Right, boom, bow. Okay, so... I don't know what the risk to our future life means. I'm sure that'll make itself apparent very shortly. And then our next chest is... a blue one. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to buy the key. And open up our chests. We get ourselves some sort of bullet. Expansive bullets. Is that what it said? Expansive? Ex expensive bullets, even. These bullets were forged um, in the most capital of planets. They still yearn to witness the exchange of currency. Grow more powerful with each purchase made. Nice. Then we get ourselves here. The all reliable. Good, good, good. Right, remember to up the curse after this. Let's go do the boss now. This thing is very reliable, I'll say that. Yes! I got the skip. I skipped him getting enraged. Right, we go back over here. Get our Mozambique back out. Mozambique here. We do that. Anything else we would want from the shop, potentially? I could grab some armor. Let's just grab some armor to get some damage. And I think we just go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's continue on our merry way. Yeah, so with uh, with having expensive bullets here, uh, purchasing power increasing, we're just going to be buying everything we possibly can. With it being a jammed run, we should be getting significantly more money, which means that this has worked out pretty well for us. Um, I don't know if the amount of damage we get correlates the amount of damage, uh, the amount of money we spend, or if it's just every purchase gives a set amount. Um, something returns revenge. Okay. Not quite sure what that said there. It said something about revenge. Revenge for life taken. Oh, hello. I can't kill that thing. What in the fuck? Okay, that is ungodly amounts of loud. That is burning a hole in my eardrums. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> that is so loud. Also, you can dive through walls. This run's coming to a very quick close. I hope you all enjoyed, because this is going to be over very shortly. That is so fucking loud. Holy shit, that scared the crap out of me when it first happened. I'll leave it alone, buddy. Basically, this is um, tainted Jacob and Ezo, isn't it? <laughs> Another Lord of the Gem that's way more aggressive. I ain't gonna be alive for long, fellas. 
I ain't gonna be alive for long. I can tell you that much. I don't know why he like hovers around enemies. Does he attack enemies for us, maybe? Not by the looks of it. That, my god, that sound. Holy shit. Calm down, boyer. Every time it just shits me the hell up. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's really loud on your end, because for you guys I have the audio compressed. So it should be it shouldn't be too bad on your guys' end when you're watching, but for me, that is ungodly amounts of loud. Like that is like three times the volume of my voice. <laughs> I don't know if him shooting in the shop does anything, so I'm going to be cautious about that. Dude, he's so hard to dodge as well. You have to dodge or else get out of the way of him. He does it so often as well, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Okay, anyways, that was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> Let's go back to the breach. Oh, my God. One moment. One moment. Right, okay. I don't know what to do now, because, like, starting a new run after, like, 10 minutes is a bit... A bit late into it to start another run. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a rainbow run. Let's give a rainbow run a go. Jump on in and see what's what. See what's what. Yeah, that, that scared the ever-living crap out of me, that did. It was very, very scary. Very, very scary. Too loud for my poor, poor feeble ears. That was going to be a cool run as well. Damn. <laughs> right. Gunda Fury is just obvious. We also started with the Gun Crown and the Old Knight's Helm, which does nothing. <laughs> Two pieces of armor, that's it. We started with two different various headpieces. Good. Use this thing for now, and then Gunda Fury for the boss and harder enemies. Gunda Fury's gonna slap. You've gotta take it when it comes up, because it's just too good. Oh, one of the shotguns hadn't shot yet. Yeah. We just need an accuracy up with this thing, and this thing becomes mega, so we'll see if we can look out for that. See if we get like aimbot or something for a man never names mod. That would be pretty awesome. I mean this thing on its own at the first level is still pretty heckin' good. I mean <laughs> just took out basically everything. Pretty awesome. <laughs> you can't deny. Although the ammo burn through is pretty rapid. Pretty accelerated. Ooh, extra key there. That is useless. <laughs> I said it and was immediately like, wait a minute. Keys are literally pointless on this mode. The, the, the bullets on this thing do have a little bit of herming, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they do. They have a little bit of herming. Kind of nice. Nice little addition to this thing. Which is why with an accuracy up it gets so much better. So you get the herming and the reduced spread. Ah, oh, what? You can't taunt me by giving me an NPC on a run that I can't buy anything from it on. That's just so evil.
We got the healing aura. Oh wait, what? This isn't a max level Gunda Fury. Excuse me? I thought this was max level. What's max level? Either way, it's doing a good job. I'll keep using it. Right, keep moving away. Not bad, not bad. Go straight down to the next floor. Right, I, Bunny's messaging me again, so I'll need to check it. I just let him know that the fucking thing broke my eardrums. So I'm going to reply to him in a second once we spawn and grab our item. Yeah, maybe I'll just like work on leveling up the Gunda Fury this run. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fast run either way, so. Right. Smoking skull active. Honestly, nothing here appeals to me like at all. Life cube, maybe? Let's go with a life cube. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Right, let me pause. Right, let's keep going. Right, yeah, let's just try and level this thing up, I guess. Yeah, so this this thing's pretty good. Basically, we get that life soul attack at the end of everything we kill. And that will do damage based on the health of the enemy we killed. So, basically, it's kill, reload, kill, reload with this thing at the minute. And that should lead to some good results. Like with an enemy like this, we can save the soul into another room and then go boom. And it kills most of the weaker enemies straight away. You are you are jammed, boy. Not too bad, and again. Enemy with a lot of HP, save it for another room. Carry it in. Oh my god, a bunch of rooms I can't do anything with. Wow. The longest straight of just useless rooms for me right now. Boom. Dead. So good. It's just good that you can save it for the next room. Beautiful, beautiful souls. Yeah, I don't know how far we are of leveling up this Gunda Fury, but we've got to be close. It said it was level 46. I can't remember what max level for the Gunda Fury is. I think it's like 60. But I'm not entirely sure. But don't hold me to that. Righty ho. It's just going to be a little bit of a speedy speed run, because that first run kind of got messed up by me having no idea what to expect with that shrine and getting completely destroyed by it. Okay. Oh god, big slime. How is the fucking dude not dead yet? The rocket dude. He's been firing at him for ages. There you go, he's one bullet off. God damn you stealing my chest, you fuck. Should probably go and uh, check out my shop. So many minis, so many keys. Nothing to do with either. Buy armor, I guess. What else is there to do? Tell you what. Tell you what, guys. I'm very hungry right now. <laughs> All this hard work made me very hungry. To be fair, I have been recording for the past, like, three hours without eating. Um, so that kind of explains it. I am going to Amsterdam this weekend for a little trip with my girlfriend and a few friends. Um, and I am preparing my recordings for the week slash weekend while I go. I'm only going for, like, three days, but I want to get all my recordings prepared a little bit earlier in the week. So I don't have to worry about it. So I'm doing all of them today. Which is never really a good idea, because um, I kind of go a bit crazy when I record this much. The commentary gets... It's weird, I go through this kind of like... I, I, it's kind of like a curve. 
Start off the recordings. Reasonably high energy, reasonably sane. Things go well. Second recording, energy normally dips a little bit. Sanity is normally fairly in check. Third recording, which is this one, is where, like, energy is at, like, an all-time low and sanity is, is definitely going. And then the fourth video, fourth, fifth, and, and above, they're where things get really interesting, because usually, for some reason, I get like a massive spike in energy, but my sanity has completely gone. And so the videos are just incomprehensible garbage. It's a real mystery. It's a real mystery. Right, let's see what we can get next. See what we can get next. Anything lovely for me to grab at. Oh god, my spine as well. I've also been sat in the same chair for like five hours today and I've not really moved, so. Oh god. We shall see if I live to tell the tale. And by tell the tale, I mean upload this video. Um. Neon bullets. Dude, we are getting some doo doo stinky poo poo right now. I guess I take double vision out of all of these, but I'm not happy about it. But this is not really how I envisioned this. Our uh, rainbow chests have been not great. Oh, we leveled it up. We leveled it up. Gunda Fury has been leveled. Now we just need ammo. Ow. So he accidentally called in the reinforcements. Hopefully we can buy ammo. Can I drop the gun to see what level it is? Level 50 now, okay. So it is level 60 for Max Frank. Go through ammo a bit faster this way because it's fully auto. We all done? No? Come on, Ammo. Where you at? Why do all the NPCs even spawn on rainbow mode? It's so upsetting. No Ammo. This could get me Ammo. It did, yes. I also bought a key by accident too. I don't know how fast this thing levels. I'll check after this room if it's leveled up at all. I'm using it for all the rooms, so I'd hope it levels up a bit. Okay, it's level 51 already. That's not bad at all. 60 by the end of the episode seems reasonable. Really, I shouldn't be using the the, uh, the gun soul, soul cube, whatever you want to call it thing. It's stealing my kills. I need those kills for leveling stuff up. But, gotta make my way across this precarious path. And down this very long corridor, wow. It's just so fun to use the gun soul thing though, that's the problem. Clear out all the rooms. Did you 
even die, wow. Back through here. Gonna take that ammo soon, but not quite yet. Shrine. Blank shrine. I mean, pointless. Absolutely pointless. <laughs> just realised after using a blank on it that it's just why. Okay, there's ammo there. We'll take that and then we can leave the other ammo for um, after the boss. Right. Through we go. Where are you, boss boss? Just up here, I guess. Good, good, good. You got double vision ready as well. We don't want to actually fire at full fire rate, because this is definitely hitting the DPS cap. So we use less ammo and do the same damage if we fire a little bit slower. It has to be a lot slower. You can see we're still dealing great damage to him right now. Easy. Two bits of armor and some ammo. Nice. Right, what level are we now? 52, okay. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Give us like elite bullets or something so we don't even have to aim. <laughs> That would be the ultimate send-off of this run. Oh, Lord, Lord. <laughs> or give us, like, a really cool bullet effect. Give me, like, scatter shot. I've had scatter shot in forever. So fun. Or even just, like, a cheeky helix bullet or something. We got... Pull breaker. Um, grants damage multiply against enemies that haven't been harmed. Oh boy, that sounds good. Yeah, I think I'll take I think I'll take that. It's kind of funny because the place that I the, the, the place that I'm from, like um where my parents live, it's called Hull. <laughs> it's a hull breaker. It's meant to be the hull of a ship, obviously. Just funny. Yeah, hole breaker with this gun should mean most basic enemies are a one shot kill. That very much seems to be the case right now. HP there if we need it. It does do like a puff of smoke to indicate the hole breaker shot by the looks of it. Oh no, maybe not. I don't know. Couldn't quite tell there. Oh no, it does, it does. Damn it, I got frozen. Not on DVD, just like in the game. And this is this is pretty good though, I like this. The setup is fun. Oh my god. I love the noise from all the souls as well. The noise from the souls is really entertaining. By the way, if you if you've been asking where Never Named is. It's just, we're busy right now and our schedules haven't been lining up. That's all. He'll be back. He's not gone for good, don't worry. He shall be back. But our schedules don't line up as often as we'd like them to as well. And at the minute, I'm kind of recording at sporadic times because, like I said, I'm preparing for a trip, so I'm not really recording at normal times. Just recording when I can. Easy peasy. No ammo though. That's what I was really hoping for. Okay, 
Okay, where are you, Shaw? That's pretty fun. Kill them all like that. Bit of a waste of my double vision there, but oh well. <laughs> Back up this way. Shop's probably down over to the left. I know I don't have to kill these enemies, but they probably do count towards... Um, probably do count towards my, my kills for levelling it up, so why not? 54, we're getting close. Probably, probably after the next floor, it'll be ready. Hopefully so, at least. Ammo me. Please ammo me. Yes. Yay, a key! Right, boss time. Tis wall. Tis the wall. But yeah, we should should be okay against this guy. Good thing is as well the damage is very high, so we're getting our uh, double vision back reasonably quickly. Thought I was gonna get hit there, so just just blank, just in case. I'd rather not on this guy. I like trying to do this guy without blanking, but it felt necessary there. Right, we're good. To the next floor. Right, fifty-five. Okay, five more levels in one floor, including the dragon. Seems plausible. Seems doable. I suppose we could go to the Lich if we don't get it in that max rank, but I'd rather try and get it in one floor. And then it's ready for next time we find it. Right. What you got for us? Battery bullets. Golden record, an active S tier. Um, that's a gun. Eye level. Um, lowers all stats. Killing enemies gives XP, which you can spend to level up. Strength, damage, and thrown. Ooh. Seems very cool, but seems very late in the run to grab it. I want to see what the golden record does. On use, saves the following items from the user's inventory. The player's current gun and a random gun, two random passives and a random active item, th um, then a previous save state is loaded. What? I don't understand what it means a previous save state is loaded. The current player's gun and a random gun. A random active. Right, just in case, I'm going to drop these as well. No, not that. And then use it, I guess? Didn't. Didn't do anything. I don't know what that meant. A previous save state is loaded? What does that mean? No idea. <laughs> that was an S tier, and it did nothing. Was I meant to like use it at the end of the floor, so like restart the floor or something? Kind of like a um, thingy forget me now pill from Isaac, maybe? Literally no idea. How am I to know? Ah, oh, but what a balls ass fall that was. Right. 
Things are dying incredibly quickly, and I love it. We'll check what we're at before we reach the dragon, level-wise. I think I stood on the spikes there. No surprise, to be honest, I'm an idiot. That is, like, my, my main attribute. Idiocy. It's what everyone loves me for. Or hates me for. Okay. Can't even see what enemies are in here because of all the fire. Just a bunch of ammo, we can leave that there for now. If we need it later. Beautiful. And, oh, there's a fucking pit there. I didn't see that. Oh my lord! Little shit ass dragon! Let's get the crap out of me. Don't expect you to be there, little fella. Then this has been a very speedy run with this thing. I mean, this thing is like one-shotting most things, so understandably why. Why, whenever I use my double vision, do I went into a room where there's no combat? Every single bloody time. Fifty-seven. Okay. I don't think we can get three levels from one boss, though. I mean, it is a, a big boss, so uh, maybe? More ammo. Not that we needed more, but thank you. Right. What's this room back here? Oh, it's the shrine room. I forgot about this. Good old diamond room. Fifty-seven still. Okay. We'll see how this does. I guess I should grab some ammo first, just in case. Right, let's go. See exactly how this does. I mean, it'll kill him quick. I know that. Use double vision whenever it's ready. Shouldn't need much ammo actually to get this done either. Get into the corner real quick. Okay, this has the range to still hit him good. I managed to get that blank just in time. Although maybe it would have been a better idea to keep them alive to level stuff up, but we'll see. Now, something that I'm unsure of, but I'm going to try anyways, I'm going to shoot him while I'm, like, rolling towards him here. Because he might still count for damage when, you, when, when he's in this state. I don't actually know if that's the case, but it might still count as dealing damage for the weapons level up formula. Okay, second one as well. But we got ammo as well to spare, so... But it hasn't leveled up so far, so I'm, I'm thinking it's not got a great chance. It might be based on kills, not damage anyways. I don't know. Fifty-nine, for fuck's sake. You guys get the lich, because this bitch won't level. Right. 
Let's go. Let's go. Okay, one sec. Okay, I forgot we got another rainbow chest, well, I'll be honest. We got mirrored bullets, gives two cares and double spread, but the player will shoot an additional mirrored bullet when shooting. That's pretty good. I think we just take that, to be honest. With double vision, it's going to be kind of fun. Four times the bullets. Oh, wait. It's leveled. It's max rank now. Hell yeah. We did it. Show this thing's true power off. This thing's true, true power. Nice. Oh, room is over here. Should be able to blitz through this, to be honest. And we can use the mirror thing now. Not mirror thing. Uh, the life cube thing now a bit more efficiently. So we'd have to worry about skipping out on levels. Yeah. Through we go, very speedy. Oh, hello. <clears throat> We're almost out of ammo, though, is the only thing. This guy should give us some ride, huh? Really? No ammo? Are you kidding me? Why, game? Why can't you just be kind to me? You need some ammo soon. Last thing's about to get messy. Getting on the wrong way here. Wait a minute. Damn it, that's just a key. Fuck you. Yeah. We're through, we're through. Two bullet kill on that guy. I mean, the hole break is certainly playing a part in how much damage this is dealing at the moment. Still, this thing is ludicrously good. No damage to these guys, what the hell? Another enemy? Nope. Just a very long death animation is all. So close to being out of ammo. I hate the thought. He's just two out of their shot as well, this thing. Can't even reload. Oh, it's all out. It's all up to you now. Should have taken battery bullets for this thing. Well, what the hell? Why is it holding it like a life orb? Strange. Once I've killed an enemy, it like appears to be a life orb in my hand. Why can't I hit this guy? God damn it. This weapon's nowhere near as good as my last one. Oh, fuck. Holy hell. I was not expecting that much carnage. Yeah, this is... Definitely tainted the run not having ammo. Oh, what? I couldn't even see the pit. There's a fucking void portal thing over it. Of course, I could have assumed that was a pit, but... No, go away. I don't want to assume things. Dude, 
This is so frustrating. Give me ammo. This weapon's doo doo. I'm too used to the insta kill. Also, this thing doesn't seem to want to aim where I want to aim either. Okay. Some ammo. Not a lot, but some. Might be enough for the boss. Depending on how many more rooms we've got to go. And serve what we can. What we can. Oh, what the hell? Shrine came out of nowhere. Damn you, fat schlub. Oh, good. Hey, okay. We might have enough here. We have to be very slow and methodical about our shots here. Good. Ah, I don't think we have enough ammo to finish the fight. That's going to be very problematic. Although this, this life orb thing is going to do hella damage to the second phase here. Ah, it, didn't, it didn't actually do that much. Sad times. Damn it, not even nearly enough. I thought it was going to be more than enough ammo. It's not even close. I think we've lost it here. Also, the, the direction I'm aiming in has a cone where it's not hitting. Is that because of the spread beam half or whatever? This last bit is going to be pretty much impossible, I think. Oh my god, we did it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was very stressful. I'm sorry for not talking there. Anyways, we got it done. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a very fun one. Rainbow Glonstone unlocked. Nice. Either way, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.